The White Croats were an early medieval people of Slavic culture, recorded in Byzantine, Frankish, and later Slavic sources. They are generally associated with the region of Eastern Europe north of the Carpathians, especially southern Poland, western Ukraine, and parts of Slovakia and Bohemia. Their name is thought to derive from an Iranian root related to guardian or ally, which reflects the long-standing contact between Slavic and Iranian-speaking steppe peoples. The epithet white likely had a symbolic meaning of western or original, since in old Slavic usage white often indicated the direction west or a homeland origin. According to Byzantine historian Constantine VII Porphyrogenitus in De Administrando Imperio, the White Croats once lived in the north before migrating southward. Around the 6th to 7th centuries, some groups left their homeland north of the Carpathians and moved into the Balkans, where they became the ancestors of the modern Croats of Dalmatia, Bosnia, and Croatia proper. Other branches of White Croats remained in their original territories, eventually assimilating into surrounding Slavic populations such as Poles, Ukrainians, and Slovaks. Most historians agree that the Croats who settled in the Balkans originated from the northern White Croat homeland, though they may not have been the sole contributors to the ethnogenesis of the South Slavic Croats. Instead, they likely formed a ruling or military elite that imposed their identity and name on local Slavic groups in the Balkans, leading to the creation of the early medieval Croatian duchy. For this video, I have gathered the raw DNA of a medieval period White Croat from Lviv Oblast in Ukraine. I used Kpatim to analyze the ethnic makeup of this sample. According to one model, this sample is around 1.8% Neanderthal. This is higher than the Eastern European average of 1.5. According to this Mesolithic model, the dominant Mesolithic component in this sample is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, followed by the Eastern hunter-gatherer component, followed by the Caucasus and Iranian component, followed by the Western hunter-gatherer component. A Bronze Age run identified 58% steppe, 33% Anatolian farmer, and 9% Western hunter-gatherer admixture in this sample. Another Cuban model reveals that this sample descends mostly from a mixture of Bronze Age Balts with Paleo-Balkan people, with just a minor contribution from Anetis. According to FST analysis of this sample, it is closest to Poles, followed, strangely, by Kazan Tatars, then Croats, Bulgarians, Russians, and Czechs. Now let's move on to her trait predictor results. Here is her predicted phenotype. She was predicted to have light brown eyes, dark brown hair, white skin, straight hair, and Greek nose shape. She was predicted to be a worrier. This phenotype comes together with slower dopamine reuptake, higher dopamine levels, and worse tolerance of stress. She was predicted to have increased D2 receptor availability. This phenotype comes with lower odds of ADHD, lower propensity to no-go learning, and higher odds of schizophrenia. She was predicted to have higher odds of autism. She was lactose intolerant. She was predicted to have average empathy levels. She was predicted to have lower odds of epithelial cancers. Based on her HLA genotypes, she was predicted to have higher odds of autoimmune disease. She was predicted to have lower homocysteine levels. She carried no risk variance for colorblindness. She was predicted to have intermediate odds of obesity. Her predicted blood type was most likely either A or AB. She was predicted to have a higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol and lower levels of good HDL cholesterol. She scored particularly high for odds of cataracts, rheumatoid arthritis, male pattern baldness, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, glioma, and polycythemia vera. She scored particularly low for odds of testicular cancer, thyroid cancer, bipolar type 1, exfoliation glaucoma, gout, migraine, and hemoglobin E disease. She carried rare risk variants for Riefenstein's, Brugada syndrome, Hirschsprung, and familial Mediterranean fever. With my beta-calc tool, she scored high for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, coronary artery disease, dermatitis, heart attack, hypertension, mental disorders, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, schizophrenia, and skin cancer. She scored low for alcoholism, autism, colorectal cancer, obesity, and stroke. You can purchase her genome from the link in the description. There you also find links to my products and services.